Hi, this is Schroeder with Cult Movies TV, and you're here with John Anthony Blake of the famous Doctor Who series, okay? And cool. you're also in Satan Hates You. Yes, I am. I'm very lucky. James has been very good to me. Um, I met him in a copy shop in Burbank about uh, 15 years ago. And, uh, you know, as Doctor Who is so popular, and of course I'm very lucky to have a character, Sergeant Benton, which was beloved by the fans. Yes. But that's because I love the fans back. It's really very simple. The fans' friend was a hard uh, epitaph to, to earn, and I'm very proud of it. Uh, now, just in case your viewers get confused with the name, of course, it's actually an interesting story. I was born John Anthony Woods yes. 55 years ago. <laughs> and then when I became famous, uh, they already had a very famous actor named John Wood. Yes. And there's also two others named John Woods and James Woods. Yes. So I ended up having to find another name before I appeared on British television. And of course, I ended up finding wow. this Jewish name, John Levine, because we didn't know what name to choose. And then yes. 10 years ago, I, I, I became a producer. Never liked the name Levine. It never rested nicely on me because I'm an Anglo-Saxon. I'm pure English Anglo-Saxon. And... Um, one day I decided to choose my mother's maiden name, which is Blake. And Blake, of course, is the name of the shamans in Ireland, England, and Scotland. So I love the name John Anthony Blake. It sits nicely with me, but it is a touch confusing. Oh. Hold on right there. Yes, Stay I will. Right there. I just want to make sure that this yeah. is continued rolling. Yes. Yes, it is. It's perfect. You know, it, like, it, like, and I can cut this. I can yeah, cut this. Can. It looks fantastic. Actually, the lighting is I, perfect. I, I right bet here. it's perfect. It's beautiful. Good. And also, uh, what part in Satan's uh, Satan Hates You do you play? Oh, um, <laughs> you can cut this. Oh, fuck it. Jenny, what's my character? <laughs> Bernie Schwartz. Bernie okay. Schwartz? Okay. Right, we'll, do uh, we'll do that again. Okay, take. And what part do you play in Satan Hates You? Well, I play the disgusting, but, oh, fuck. Um, <laughs> Jenny, what's my character? What's my character? <laughs> For Satan Hates You? James. There we go. Okay. Okay. We'll scoot in a little bit closer. There we go. And what part do you play in Satan Hates You? Well, I, I play Bernie Shanks. <laughs> Hang on, we'll do it again. We'll do it again. No, I. We're doing it right. And what part do you play in Satan Hates You? I play Bernie Shanks, a very naughty and I, I believe a very nasty kind of priest. We have the Bernie Shanks Ministries. And all I know is that I ask people in the movie, if you want to find God or Jesus, come to me first. I'm, I was almost like the middleman of the religious sect of the Bernie Shank Ministries. So goodness only knows what the money I draw in was going to be used for. But what a beautifully written park. And that's why I love James McKinney. He, he's just got that knack of directing, producing, and writing. So I'm actually quite thrilled to be here. I'm excited to see this, too. And what was your first impression when you read the script? Well, I didn't read all of it because it was one of those times when uh, I was a little busy at the time. I mean, sometimes we ex-Doctor Who actors are busy. Um, but I sometimes only like to read my part, not because I'm interested in only my part, but if you do it without the knowledge necessarily of what all the other actors may have followed in terms of a storyline, Bernie Shanks had to be just a little unusual and a little kind of quietly vicious I think it might be the word so that's why I didn't necessarily bother to read the whole script ah. but all I know is that I'm dying I've heard it's quite violent yes. and I heard it's quite funny so this is really quite uh, I'm gonna walk like an Egyptian tonight <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do I'm glad, I'm glad I remember how that. yeah how, we're at the hell of quaint we're at the Egyptian the, theater yeah. Yeah. well there was a, a pop group wasn't there the bangles, yes the bangles the bangles, the bangles. so look at that yeah look at that. hey we're about the it, same era just because yeah. I'm 35 years old doesn't mean to say <laughs> God, I hate to think what I am. Anyway, let's... Right, so any... What is your favorite Doctor Who episode? Do you have one? Oh, well, I do. Um, you know, often actors, to be honest, you're either a very vain or conceited actor. And I always make sure I let the fans know this. I never was, for no other reason than the British actor usually has very low self-esteem. It's something that we have in Great Britain. I don't know what it is. If you've ever watched Eddie Izzard, you know, when he says, I want to be an astronaut, he says, you're British, tone it down a bit. He said, well, I want to work in a shoe shop then, and I want to find some shoes and we're back on the left. And he said, tone it down, you're a bit British. So that we have this kind of, um, this image of ourselves, which doesn't make us feel like a star or anything. So having said that, when you get a part, if it's beautifully written and you get the right director, so in answer to your question, the Demons, the Green Death, and Inferno, oh, uh, plus the three yes. Doctors, of course, yes, yes, and the yes. new one they've just released. Look at me waving my yes. hands. I look like a young actor. <laughs> I am... <laughs> I'm looking like an Egyptian now, because um, it's a bad pyramid in my life. No, a bad pyramid in my life. Um, I, d d d I love them all, but th like the demons, when you end up getting a lot in, yes. you suddenly think, my God, the writer, who was Barry Letts, yes. you don't, 
Let me give you an example. I didn't know it, but I was Douglas Camfield's protege. He's the director that most of the Doctor Who's, he did 52 yeah. of the main. Now, I wouldn't have known that when he saw me as a Yeti back in 1963, that he'd already decided that he was gonna push me up the ladder of success. But I didn't bloody know that. <laughs> so you end up working with these wonderful men, not knowing you're, that, that you're their golden boy. So that's how I ended up with all the good work in The Three Doctors and Inferno. And in fact, I think I'm the only Doctor, um, Doctor Who actor that played three parts in one story. Wow. Because I played the yet, um, good Benton, the Nazi Benton, yes. and a primoid in, in Inferno. Oh, my God. I, cause I, I did not know that. Yeah. I did not know so that. So I think that's a bit of a first, you know. That, that's fantastic, actually. Yes. And uh, I love the Daleks in oh, so Doctor good. Who. I love the Daleks. Was there any kind of, was there an episode or a scene where the Daleks failed? Because I don't know how they made those move. Was there people in oh, the yeah, Daleks? The, John, yeah, the, the, there's a guy. I forgot to speak <laughs> when the mic was at my mouth. There was one guy named, a three-barreled name, like John Nason block or whatever but they they just walked along on their feet i mean in the beginning they just walked along on their feet yeah. and we used to say hello or goodbye to the guys when i did i did um invasion of the daleks i remember yeah. and before yeah. they used to put the top on ah. we used to say okay good luck john good luck and we put the top <laughs> on and you wouldn't see him again until the, like, the shooting had finished so but the daleks i like the um the um Ogrons were my favorite monster, in case you wanted to know. Mm -hmm. And the Ogrons were, because they were half monster and half human. Yes. R rather like the mother-in-law, oh, yeah. really. She's, no, she's, she's a dreadful woman. Dre I agree. She, listen, she, she was thrown out of the Gestapo for cruelty. A dreadful woman. Yeah, so anyway, that, they were my favorite monsters. And I love the Doctor Who thing. The, have, I have to be honest and say that I was a young boy. I came from the south of England, a yes. tiny place called Salisbury. Uh, that We have a famous spire called Salisbury mm -hmm. Cathedral Spire. And, um... When I ended up as a monster doing walk-ons on Doctor Who, I never dreamed that Barry Letts and Douglas Canfield were building me to be Benton. And so you can imagine the thrill when people like James come up to me yeah. and say, we love you in the Doctor Who, would you be in our movie? I'm excited to interview you. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Well, I, I just, I've never, and I've never changed my enthusiasm. <laughs> as a, we're gonna, I'm gonna have to have a drink of water. Jenny, could I have my water, please? <laughs> I am seizing up. This will be cut, of course. Thank we can you. cut this. It's still filming, right, Wada? Okay. Are you taking pictures still? It'll turn okay. itself on it when it needs it. Are we okay? Are we framed all right? Yeah. Why don't we scoot in a I, little I want closer. the hanky to be in, you see. Okay. Love my hankies. Okay, yes. <laughs> and what do you think of the new Doctor Who series that's out right now on, I believe it's a sci-fi channel? Uh, well, it comes out on BBC as well, doesn't it? Oh. Be, one has to have BBC America. Ladies and gentlemen, if you do not have BBC America, we have a team of people in England that come and hunt you down. <laughs> <laughs> and we show you photographs of the Queen and bloody force you to get BBC America. I, right, let me, put it, let me put it in a nutshell, if I may. Uh -huh. When we started in Doctor Who, as you know, it nearly stopped at the end of yes. the Patrick Troughton era yes. when Patrick and Fraser, it was da dead. And I am very proud to say that I'm one of the, what, six people that brought yes. it alive. And you notice I only say, I'm very happy to be the sixth down the list. Yes. I never was going to be a star. Oh, I mean, I'd like to have been, maybe, but... I think I, you're a star. My well, God, you're iconic. Oh, yeah, you're a cult icon. Well, yes, but I mean, I mean a star in terms of, like, yes. the lead of the show. Yeah. I was, I, I never had that kind of drive. Yeah. And to be an assistant to John Pertwee was a bleeding miracle anyway. But anyway, the new Doctor... I think what Russell T. Davis and uh, Julie Gardner did, and the independent producers along the way, what they've done to the new Doctor Who, actually, to be honest with you, is stunning. I, I, like I watched a David Tennant one tonight. I agree. Directed yes. by Graham Harper, yes. who was Douglas Camfield's. Yes. He was his, um, what would you call it, like AD, his assistant. So he directs like Douglas Camfield directs. That's why the Dougie Camfield stories are so amazing. That's why Inferno, although Barry Letson uh, directed the in-studio stuff, because uh, Douglas, as you know, had a bit of a problem with his heart. Yes. But all the stuff they gave me, they made Benton beloved to the Doctor. And, you know, I love John as much as a human. I mean, I love John Pertwee as a man. So to be able to play Sergeant Benton opposite him, and you notice how many scenes they gave me with the Doctor. And the other thing I like, even though I still maintain it wasn't vanity, I love the amount of times they use Benton's name. Get Sergeant <laughs> Benton. Go and get Sergeant Benton. Where's, and I used to sit there all excited. I wasn't on the screen, but my name was being called. So I'm, I'm a genuine, excited, I'm as excited now as I, when I got the part in 65. That is awesome. It is, really. I, I, you know, uh, my favorites, you know, I like the Doctor Who series, but I have to, the original is the best to me. It's just like the original Star Trek. That'll always oh, be the best yes. to me. Which is on BBC yeah. at the moment. Yes. As I said. But, but in answer to your thing, what they've done, I mean, 
whenever there's a new doctor, how do you beat David Tennant? How do you follow David Tennant and Billy Piper? I've never cried so much in a scene as when the the scene between the Dalek, which was played by Nick Briggs, mm-hmm. and and um, the, the the lady I've just mentioned, I've forgotten her name already, <laughs> uh, but but um, but Billy 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 Piper. To think that all the people I used to work with and all the Doctor Who kids I used to help, because you know, that's why I do all this stuff. I mean, we don't get hardly paid for these things. Yeah. I mean, in all honesty, it's just a little bit of a credit. But for James, I would do it anyway, because I'd be, I've known him now 15 years, and this is the third movie he's given me. And you never know, I could be a star. I could be the new... You are I a could, star, though, I, my but God. I'd be, but I could shine even brighter. <laughs> This is somebody that, you know, this is somebody that is just doesn't want to take give credit to himself. I'm telling well, you right now. Well, it, and it's, it's not it's not even false modesty. All it is is you've got to be it's grateful. Very like in, modest. Well, I love it. Except that, that, that to be in the show went like yeah. to just all the actors in England, everybody yeah. in England wanted to be in Doctor Who. Yeah. And they gave it to me. They just that gave me it. Honestly, and that's why I'm saying, you know, he's... He, He's iconic, you know, original Doctor Who series. Well, I, I mean, come on. I, well, I do. I do. When you say the word, <laughs> it's very. Iconic. I do feel slightly I iconic. Mean, I, I, I'm Cult Movies Magazine. We know at Cult Movies Magazine what is a cult status and oh, what is okay. iconic. Oh, so, okay. oh, so, yes, so I am iconic then. Yes, oh, no, you're no. very iconic. You know? well, and and you know, I'm sure our viewers out there will agree. Oh. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, just to let you know if I'm allowed to advertise, I do have a very popular website. Yes. I want to let you know that I've lost $48,000, and you're, this, <laughs> this will please you. Oh my God. I decided I could not advertise on my website. We have a fabulous website. My webmaster, Kent Edens, mm-hmm. our website is john-levine.com. John-Levine.com, and it's called Sergeant at Arms. Mm-hmm. Now, we are so popular, we've had 213,000 hits in 11 months. Whoa. Now, for a small actor like me, wow. that's 213,000 hits. We've lost 48,000 in revenue, but let me tell you, every time I see anything on the, on the, on the I'm not a computer man, my yeah. wife will tell you, I've left it alone. I don't have a cell phone or a computer because I'm 68 years old now, <laughs> and I just don't want to be, be bothered with it because I've been in the TARDIS and I don't need that. But anyway, I've <laughs> lost all that money, but to have my website, with all those ads coming up, we don't think we'd have had 213,000 hits. So I, I don't want to sound too... Well, it's impressive insofar as the thought of having a messy website with the energy and, and effort we put in would aggravate me. So I just want the viewers to know that they won't see any adverts on johnlevine.com. <laughs> I love the pin. It says Doctor Who, and we zoomed in on that earlier. We'll show you this pin up closer, but... That is an awesome well, it pen. Was, it was given me uh, years and years and years ago, and I keep every one of them because, as you know, I've even bought my own demo tape. I brought the Benton montage in case <laughs> when we get up and do the question and answer service, yes. they might have wanted to show it, but we now know they won't. But oh. I've got this wonderful, um, it's a shame you can't get a copy of it, really. Well, you it's, know, you can mail me a copy, and I will put it on the show. You mail me oh, a copy, and I'll put it on the show. Get hold of Ken, <laughs> get hold of Ken Edens. Okay. I'll give you his address. Well, you don't just go to johnlevine.com. Yeah. Okay. Tell him who you are. Tell him you interviewed me okay. at the Egyptian for Satan Hates You. And, and Kent will tell you exactly where it is on the website, and I you can will use it. I will definitely pleasure. put it on there because I would love to have some of those clips playing while you're talking. You know, while you're talking and stuff, oh, you know, have well, some. I'd that, love because I mean, yeah. I've got it with all the doctors, with Pat, John, yes. and uh, Tom Baker. Yes. Um, but see, yeah. So in, to end this um, lovely interview, I must say <laughs> that Doctor Who has been regenerated. I mean, yes. he's back, and it's about time. I remember hearing that for that lovely selling ad, and that was beautiful. The new guy is going to be fabulous. I, I, how you follow David Tennant, I don't yes. know. I'd love to have <laughs> met David when he was in Hollywood. I nearly met him. Uh, you know, I think his girlfriend was at Gallifrey this year. Uh, but um, I wish, I wish uh, Matt and uh, the lady, Karen, I wish them the best of luck and enjoy it as much as I hope I did. John, thank you so much. This is an honor for me. This is an honor for Cult Movies Magazine and our fans. Well, thank you. And, you know, our readers are going to enjoy this interview. I know I enjoyed it immensely. Fans, listen, (laughs) for what it's worth, I've never really enjoyed close-ups. I don't actually think they work. You see, if you go too close, you look really, really ugly. (laughs) It's an old John Pertwee gag. It sucks. Take it away. And, John, if I could just get your permission for television, just give us your permission to use this for any media. Um, yes, I give you permission as I'm walking like an Egyptian tonight for any media, <laughs> and I won't accept checks for anything less than $4.50. <laughs>